Hi guys, I just picked up this car in the afternoon and I'll be driving it for the next two days. Thank you Renault for that. And this is the Renault Fluence. It's a C-segment sedan. I don't really see Fluence on the road. I'm really curious and why is it so rare? I would really want to know if you are considering a car around this price range. By the way, this car costs about 89000 plus plus. At the moment, there, there's a promotion, that's why it's at that price. So basically, it's about 90000 So let me know in the comments down below, would you actually consider a Renault Fluence if you're looking for a C segment? And if you want to know anything about this car, but somehow I did not cover that in this video, just ask me in the comments down below and I'll let you know. So I just picked up the other half. What is your first impression of the car? Nothing. Huh? Nothing? Uh? Uh. That's underwhelming. I do not have any opinions about cars. Oh my god. Currently they are having an offer for this car and they are selling it for 89,000 plus 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 plus. And they have a maintenance package that is called 5 Influence. This car has 5 year unlimited mileage warranty and 5 year free service. That's a this good selling This car point. is in the same segment as what? Car? It's a C segment. What other brands? It's I mean, supposed what to go other up. Cars? Would you compare this car to? It is supposed to go up against Altis Civic, and they claim that it is the most spacious C segment. Spacious, ah. But French cars are known for unreliability. Yes, but then this has a heart of a Nissan. Even the transmission is actually a. Nissan transmission, I believe. How about after sales? No, oh, after sales, I don't know. If you guys ever experienced Renault after sales before, just comment in the comment section because I really don't know about Renault after sales. But they have a network of 14 service centers, uh, including those manned by Tan Chong. Because yeah, Renault get... is under Tan Chong. Yeah, Renault is under Tan Chong. So you can actually go to their Renault service center that is in Glen Mary, or you can go to those that is manned by Tan Chong people. How is the reception of this car? Just now when I was um, filming the intro of the car, I also mentioned I don't really see a lot of this car on the road. I don't know whether you realize wait, it or not. Wait, like if I tell you, if I tell you about um, Civic or Altis, right, you see a lot on the road, right? But wait, you don't really like see fluence. The, right? the original price of this thing is actually 119. That is the MSRP. After comparing it to Altis and Civic, la, mm. what are the pros and cons? How is this car better in certain areas and worse in certain areas? After driving it for the afternoon today, right? I realized that probably if someone is looking for a European interior, a European kind of feel in the car that they drive, obviously this car is a French car, right? Except for the drive, I mean, except for the engine and the um, transmission. But this car generally has better NVH, probably, in my own opinion. At least that's what I realized uh, so far. But one thing that I must note, this car has been driven for 48,000 kilometers. You know? I haven't realized any parts that is rattling so far. And I also realized that the tire is almost almost all worn out. How would you compare Renault to Peugeot? Well, at least what I can say is that uh, the interior, as you can see, right, everything is very solid. Uh. Okay, there are some things that is quite similar. Like if you open the glove box, right, I think that is worse than Peugeot. No, so basically what you're trying to say is that this... So that it doesn't feel expensive or...? Of course it's not expensive. I mean, right now it's, it only costs 90000 It's not a, It's not an expensive car. And it comes with 5 year free service, you know. People will be thinking, uh, <coughs> wow, this couple damn boring. Uh. All they talk about is cars. Uh. <laughs> no, we do not talk about this. We are funnier than this. On a daily basis. <laughs> As I was saying just now, basically you're trying to say that you still feel a little skeptical towards Renault. Not skeptical, I just indifferent. Uh. Indifferent because you are not, not from very or oh, not very well exposed to the brand. Uh. Last time when my dad drove a Renault, it didn't leave a good impression. Honestly speaking, a lot of cars are like that last time. I mean, technology weren't that good. No, because I always feel like Continental cars always requires a lot of maintenance. So basically, Continental cars, like, nothing to do with Renault or not. Yeah. As I was told, the service of, for this car, right, is averaging about three, 400 ringgit. And it is 10,000 or 6 months. But you get 5 year free when you first purchase the car. Like. 5 year free service, eh. Same as BM. Yeah. But this is a cheap car. So what I'm trying to say is that if you if you want to buy a car that costs around 90,000... It's not 90, exactly 000, cheap also. If cheap, then go for my V. 
No, I mean, I mean, you can't compare my V. Right now, you are talking about a car, a sedan, C segment. If you want to get a C segment, who gives a better deal? And so it's like equivalent to Nissan's Almera. Nope. No, Nissan Almera is B segment, so you can't compare an Almera to this. Oh, and you want to hear the horn? No. Super jam right now. We are going to Sri Putaling. Why so not enthusiastic one the way I talk? So right now we are stuck in a jam, you know, it's so oh, yeah. hey, frustrating. Wait. Hello YouTube! Like that. That's so what you know. Bonjour! Bonjour! Anyway, we are stuck in the jam. Heading into Sri Putaling. Actually, I don't know why is it so jam, you know? Se you? Anyway. Hey, what you? Renault. Renault. Dinner, dinner. You know one thing, this is the key right? Yeah. If you see, unlock, lock, and there's a light symbol here on you. And the light symbol right, does this one. Okay, obviously I'm doing it. Uh. We can leave the lights on like that. No, but what's the point? Probably when you can't see your car. So when you unlock the car, right, the side mirror doesn't fall out actually. It's only when you step on a brake, I believe. Let's see. If I step on a brake. Ooh. Start the car, is it? <laughs> this is where you start in the car. What a dinner and what a day. Finally, today is the day that I have to send this back to Renault. I totally skipped yesterday because it was a full day for me as I only have this day for like 48 hours. And there isn't really much time to film. That's the thing about getting a car for 48 hours. If only they were longer. There's also something else that I want to talk to you guys about is that I read every single comment that you guys post on my videos like those that you guys ask me to film a particular car it's not that I don't take note of your comments it's not exactly easy to get a car to film there are cars that I keep on trying and trying and trying and yet no response from the brand themselves there have been brands that's been really helpful and there are also brands that give me a cold shoulder I mean I'm not a true reviewer or even a motor journalist or whatever I'm just a one-man show YouTube channel kind of thing. Well, the sole reason of starting this channel is just because I love cars very, very much. I love driving different cars. So far, I've driven about 50 different models of cars. And no, I'm not in a car business. I actually have my own job. That's why I have to like juggle between my work and filming sometimes. And it's really, really hectic. But like I said, it's something that I love to do. If only I could just loan these cars for a longer period than 48 hours. It's quite a bummer. So anyway, back to this Renault Fluence, I would really love to hear what do you guys think about the car. Like, would you consider one just because it's a Renault? Because the only comment that I've heard over the past uh, two days is that it is a Renault. And people are quite, I would use the word, unfamiliar with the brand. If you ask for my comment, I would actually give them a big thumbs up in the build quality aspect. Like I said, this car has been driven for 48,000 km and I have not heard a single rattle or any loose parts coming off from the car especially this being a media and test drive car so you can imagine how it has been trashed well I didn't really trash it I wanted to conserve fuel the only thing that I would say is that it's a bit of a fuel guzzler but that is because it is actually heavier than its counterparts this car is actually 1.4 tons the Altis is actually 1.2 tons and the Civic is 1.3 tons if I'm not mistaken. It is actually a very solid car. The NVH is actually quite good for a car in this segment as well. And like in the beginning of the video, as I said, if you guys have any questions about this car which I didn't cover, just comment down below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. And to end this video, remember to check out the other two videos which I produced with the Renault Fluence. One is the driving experience video 
and the other one is the walk around tour. There is actually a reason why I do not want to edit the walk around tour and the driving experience video together because it is actually a pain in the neck to edit and render a video that is long, especially using my computer. So that is all for this video. If you are not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe now if you would like to watch more of my videos. Oh, and next week, I'm going to be filming the Renault Capture and also the Nissan X-Trail Aero Edition. If you guys want to know anything about those cars, you can also comment down below and I'll take note. Thank you.